you gotta start somewhere. Join El Medina's video production class, where you will go to a free summer camp to learn how to use industry standard equipment and create professional graphics. Join today. This is EMTV with your news anchors, Jason Pedroza and Josephine Trapp. Hello, El Medina. I'm Jason Pedroza. And I'm Josephine Tram. Today on EMTV, we will look back on Spirit Week, Wasp Visitations, The Invisible Children, the NHS induction ceremony, and band's spring concert. This year's Spirit Week featured the epic freshmen, sophomores with their theme of X or 10, juniors at the Chocolate Factory, and seniors at sea. In fourth place, with a formidable effort, we have the epic freshmen with a total of 47 points. In third place, with 62.5 points, we have the juniors and the chocolate factory. In second place, with a total of 82.5 points, the X, or 10 sophomores. And finally, in first place, with a grand total of 98 points, the fantastic, the majestic, and the beautiful seniors at sea. Hey, let's see. Three, one, two, three, two, three, two, three, two. Chloe, how do you feel about Spirit Week? That's exactly how I was feeling about Spirit Week, too. Did you notice some fancy-looking officials around Elmo on the first week of March? Perhaps an extra good behavior by teachers. Or also, a spotless campus. Not to worry, it's not the end of the world. This team that came was the Association of Schools and Colleges, which is otherwise known as WASC. They came to our school to re-verify our accreditation. ASB students greeted this WASC team with a tour of our campus, and choir performed a few songs for them. During their four-day visit, WASC interviewed students about the school, draw by classrooms to observe teachers in action, and meet the faculty in formal meetings. On March 22nd, the Invisible Children Legacy Tour visited El Medina. The event was organized and made possible by Veronica Moreno. This assembly touched many students with a video exposing the constant war going on in Uganda. There's this war that's been going on for more than 23 years in Africa, and it's causing this like massive genocide, and it seems like no one really cares. So um, basically what they're trying to do is stop it and, you know, like, uh, give them education, water, like just the basic necessities like that we can provide. Donald, one of Uganda's top students, visited our school to talk about how the Invisible Children program helped him get an education and the benefits they have provided for him in his life. One thing that I love of Invisible Children is, I mean, they are, they, they are so open, there is nothing they hide. They, 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 they show that truth, they talk about what's really happening, there's nothing like exaggerating, there's nothing like hiding stuff, you know, it's just something that you see, it's just something that's happening. Listen, learn, and pass it on. Just telling people is like the greatest thing you can do. To support the Invisible Children Relief efforts, you can purchase any of their products, which will be on sale in the quad on March 22nd or March 26th. Students gathered in the library to honor and induct prestigious students into El Medina's National Honor Society. This candlelit ceremony was arranged by President Jennifer Beam and the rest of the NHS board. We choose our inductees based on their GPA, which has to be a 3.5, and then we also um, focus on their uh, leadership, scholarship, service, and character skills and we ask them questions based around those things, what they do to serve our community, as well as what leadership roles they've held. This Freedom Friday featured freestyle piano playing. Talented students and teachers played for the school with some excellent song choices. Band also recently held a free spring concert in the cafeteria on March 25th. Well, uh, you're going to have the jazz band, you're going to have the uh, wind ensemble, which is sort of the cream of the crop of our music department. Uh, you're going to have the or string or orchestra, uh, all really good musicians, and yeah, the symphonic band too, and that's just about everybody. Spring break is two weeks this year, from March 29th to April 9th. Remember that Friday, March 26th, is a minimum day. Video production class is looking for a new crew and cast, so sign up now for next year's broadcast and video yearbook team. If you're interested, there will be a meeting about the class and being in video yearbook the week we return from spring break. I hope you enjoyed this rendition of EMTV, and we'll see you next time. I'm Jason Pedroza. And I'm Josephine Tran. Sayonara, Sayonara El Medina. Medina.